So we started this study back in April 2014 discussing how best to approach this and quite quickly we contacted Highways England in order to be able to uh, get samples to analyse. We started tyre collection and inspection in early 2015 and then we spent two years analysing over a thousand samples. So it's quite detailed, uh, quite time consuming but we got some very interesting results. And the two uh, top concerns were road hazard and inflation pressures. When you take those two alone it was 74 percent of all the samples analysed and those two concerns could be avoided with correct tyre uh, husbandry uh, which is daily checks, weekly checks or monthly checks of uh, tyre condition and inflation pressure. Driving along, you hear a bang maybe, you wonder what first what it is. Um, obviously check your mirrors, you just see you can see anything spraying up, you've got tread flying up here, there and everywhere, which is very daunting, wondering what it is, not having a clue at first, and then just trying to react the best way you can to cause minimum disruption to anybody. It can be a very scary experience, as I say, you just don't know what it is at first. You hear the explosion sort of thing of where your tyre's gone, and yeah, you just don't know what it is. Very, very alarming at times. We're delighted to work with Bridgestone on this tyre research. The findings and conclusions further strengthen our understanding of tyre-related incidents and how we manage them and improve the network working with our customers uh, to improve tyre husbandry. Um, we really are delighted, uh, it's a really progressive uh, and thought-provoking piece of research. Preventing tyre-related incidents is really important housing and safety is our number one priority. And we've got to remember that tyre-related incidents do regrettably lead to people being harmed on our network. 182 people were harmed in 2016. There's an economic cost to tyre-related incidents. There are about 60,000 incidents on our network 12,000 of our commercial vehicles. And just to put it in context, a two hour delay on the M6 at peak hours costs the economy three quarters of a million pounds. It also adds to driver stress, affects customer satisfaction. It's just bad for the general network operation. As a tyre engineer, yes, I have been very surprised by some of the things I've seen because these tyres are dangerous, not only to the person using them, uh, but to their families, potentially in the car, and also all the other road users. These are tyres that are being run in uh, improper condition and dangerous condition, and they have failed, so they have caused a problem. The key thing we want to put across is 
The message we want is customers to check the tyres, take the tread of the tyres, make sure the tyres are inflated properly, do visual inspections of the tyres, make sure that they're not damaged, not scuffed, don't have marks or are affected by debris. These are simple things you can do um, and indeed um, you should be doing them as a matter of course before you take any long journey on our network.